Hello and welcome back and that is right today I want to talk about my favourite things in the world of network attached storage in 2024. That's quite a vague remit isn't it? Basically through the course of this video I've about 200 to 250 different videos. I covered everything. I've covered the emergence of Ugreen into the world of NAS. I've talked about the two new tranches to the Synology portfolio both at the basic value level of B-Station all the way up to that active protect stuff that's pretty much going to go out there next year. On top of we've seen NAS motherboards, we've even seen Seagate and WD launch into 24TB consumer grade and professional grade hard drives. These are the things that stood out for me the most. There's about five or six different things depending on how you look at it because for me these will be the standout things in terms of network attached storage in 2024. So let's not waste any more time, let's crack straight on. So straight away, I know it's already probably annoyed some of you that I'm starting this list with a mini PC. This thing, the Minis Forum MF01. Mini PCs, and again, thanks to innovation from AMD and Intel into, you know, mobile alternatives, a lot of their high-grade processors for server use, and these mobile CPUs going into more portable battery-centric uh, devices have exploded in 2024. And although there have been loads and loads and loads of, frankly, two-bit operations launching uh, mini PCs into the market, the best out there being the Minis Forum MS01 shouldn't surprise a lot of people. If you follow any tech blog, any tech YouTuber, any tech anything, you've almost certainly heard about this device. And it's not on this video because it being a very, very good mini PC isn't. The reason it's on this list is notwithstanding that it's got three M.2 NVMEs inside, but Minis Forum are working on a NAS. They're working on a NAS. I think it's pretty bloody obvious they're working on a NAS. When I did a video for this, they reached out to me for this, the real focus here in this part of the video, and that is a six NVMe SSD upgrade board that you put inside this. Now, right now, we still don't have this little prototype is going to be an official add-on for users that have already got hold of the MS-01. This thing is regularly out of stock. Because it sells like that with a couple of 10 GBEs on board, a couple of 2.5 GBEs, and an i9 version out there as well. But it's this thing that really blew me away. Notwithstanding that they worked on a custom-made M.2 NVMe, but also the sheer engagement with it and the number of people that are interested in it have resulted in Minis Forum now working on a NAS. And frankly, of all of the mini PC manufacturers out there, you can talk about Link Plus, you can talk about all of the kind of two-bit operations that I referred to earlier on cracking into the world of NAS, but these are the ones that I'm going to keep an eye on when they roll out a NAS, because trust me, it's going to be good. Seriously, the Johnsbow N5 has, just like that, obliterated any other DIY NAS case I've ever covered. So come here a little closer. When I went to Computex earlier this year in May, June 2024, there's actually another event that takes place just over the road called Innovex. Innovex is another multi-floored big old tech expo. And while I was there, I was going down an escalator, killing time looking at my phone, and looking out of a window on the trade show floor, I saw this. I saw this standing out from the edge of a stand. John Spo had a small little stand in the other building. It wasn't even in Computex. And I went down the escalator and got closer and saw this beast. Their 12 by DIY NAS case. And frankly, six months on, there's never been a better case. There just isn't. Now, don't get me wrong. It's massive. It's huge. It's metal. And it's not going to be for everyone. But I'll say right now, as a middle ground between a rack mount and a desktop, there just isn't a better case in the market. I'm not in love, of course, with those horrible trays that they use inside. But that aside, this case supporting MATX, supporting ITX, supporting ATX, supporting a myriad of cards. This thing is just limitless in terms of its scope, in terms of storage, PCI scalability, cooling, and more. Ultimately, it, the reason it's on this list isn't just because it's the best case that John's buy I've ever made. It is still, to me, if not the best, then one of the best DIY NAS cases I've ever seen. Oh, and before you say it, I know I still haven't published a build yet. Trust me, it's taken a while. It's done. It's built. We will get that out ASAP. Quick side note, be a little careful with the John's bow casing. It will mess you 
If we're going to talk about big things in 2024, we've got to talk about Unify and the UNAS Pro. Ubiquity have been pretty much inundated by requests to launch a NAS system for years upon years. They've got their switches, they've got the cameras, they've got their um, network appliances all coming out of the wazoo, but no NAS solution. And finally, after I think around 18 to 2 years of minimum back in early development, we saw them launch the UNAS Pro, a 499.7 bay rack mount solution. That price tag alone got people's attention. But what really stood out for me was that clearly Unify were going to do it their own way. When it did launch in September, after a lengthy period of early access and a lot of feedback from a lot of network professionals into that software, it was by and large exactly what you would expect in terms of their UI, the user experience, and integration within existing Unify controlled environments there. I'm not going to say that the UNAS Pro is going to be beating Synology or QNAP, but it doesn't seem to want to do that. And although they do have a lengthy roadmap for the next 18 months that they're hoping to build upon the fundamentals they've nailed thus far, it has to be said the system is constantly out of stock and stock. When it is available, it is snapped up immediately. So clearly the market is there for this, if arguably more simplified solution, then certainly a Unify NAS. And that is why it made my favourite things of 2024. Do you know how hard it is to be surprised by anything when you work in data storage? Everything, like a lot of technology, when it really finds its groove, very rarely do you see anything particularly, you know, mind-bendingly innovative. You generally see small innovations within the existing space. And then shit like this happens. This is the Unify Drive UT2. Now, don't get me wrong, after that last entry, seriously, Unify, you could have used a better name. But I will say, that this device here, a truly mobile network attached storage system, really blew me away. Now, mobile hard drives have been a thing for a while. Drives that run on battery power that can be connected via their own dedicated wireless AP. That's not a new thing, but a true NAS solution like this with two M.2 NVMEs, a quad-core ARM-based processor in there, DDR4 memory, and running everything, containerization, file backups, phone backups, file sharing, network management, 2.5 gigabit ethernet there, built on side there, USB power with an internal battery, HDMI output, multiple card readers and USB, shock absorbent casing there. This was a genuine NAS that is mobile with a desktop GUI, a mobile GUI, and this is comparable to pretty much any of the more um, efficient ARM-based NAS devices out there from Synology and QNAP in terms of controls and feature set, SMB, mapping object storage, cloud synchronization, NAS to NAS backups. This thing was bonkers, but again, a mobile NAS with its own calling system inside. To say this stood out in 2024 doesn't do it justice. This thing has stood out within a decade of innovations within NAS solutions. If this isn't my favorite thing of 2024 it's damn close 2024 saw an insane flurry of desktop affordable flash solutions indeed you know even a year ago when you looked at the market for flash solutions if you wanted to go for much much faster and growing in affordability m.2 nvmes there were options in the market in 2022 and 2023 but not that many and the way they were priced was still off-putting and although the price of m.2 ssds has come down to around 2.5 to three times that the cost of hard drives again at the terabyte four terabyte and eight terabyte level it's still worth highlighting that it wasn't until 2024 that we saw a huge competitive marketplace blossom. Now, I know this is about my favorite products of 2024, but to let you know how I narrowed it down, there was stuff like this. Now, Arifo, who I don't really know, or Afro, this is an N100 4 bay M.2 solution there. The price has come down since launch, but you're looking at around 200 nicker for an N100 quad core powered 4 NVMe solution. Then you go to more established plans like Terramaster. This is the FA SSD Plus. This has got an 8 core i3 10 GBE and 
eight M.2 NVMEs. And look at the size of it. And this thing is sub $800. Then you have things like the Link Plus, which has got two SATA-based SSD slots, four M.2 NVMe slots. It arrives with an Intel Celeron processor and an Unraid license included. They're even working on a follow-up to this and an, a growth in their Link Station series as we speak for 2025. But the one that stood out, and it's one that I talked about at Computex and I talked about towards the end of the year, was this. This is the Flash Store Gen 2. The original Flash Store was already one of my favorite NASs of 2023. And fast forward a year, this thing is bonkers. Notwithstanding an incredible CPU inside, that although it's lacking integrated graphics, annoying some users, does provide a huge number of lanes and capabilities with Gen 4 and Gen 3 slots inside, two 10 GBE slots there on the rear, copper, not even SFP, and two USB 4 ports supporting USB 4 and Thunderbolt 4 direct attach connectivity at 20 gigabits each means that this thing has got the performance inside and outside and once you throw in ecc memory as well that's included with it this thing although not cheap is by and large the best desktop flash solution i've ever seen not just for 2024 but total As more and more arguably smaller players enter the world of network attached storage, it has definitely been websites like Kickstarter, Crowd Supply, and to a lesser degree, Indiegogo, that have really allowed smaller players to enter this market more. Now, unfortunately, it isn't just the smaller players, but bigger players as well. We've even seen brands as big as Ugreen take advantage of the crowdfunding website as a marketing platform to play a little safe perhaps with some of their newer portfolio items like the Ugreen DXP series but of all of those solutions that I talked about none of them for me did such a good job as this one the Zimmer Cube. Now Icewell who already successfully launched the Zimmer Board and Zimmer Blade prior to this went for something a little bigger and at the start of the year we talked about how they would launch their crowdfunding towards the Zimmer Cube and Zimmer Cube Pro. Two six hard drive solutions with another slot inside for dedicated M.2 NVMEs. Compact using a completely custom DIY board inside promising 10 GPE outputs, large scale memory capability and scalability inside multiple PCIe slots, which on an MITX, by the way, is a lot rarer than you think. And they deliver. They delivered on not only the N100 version, this one I've got here on the table, but an i5-10 core version, which had direct attached the um, Thunderbolt 4 and USB connectivity, as well as 10 GBE and Gen 4 SSD slots alongside those hard drive slots as well. Now, why have I got the N100 on the table? Well, because the Pro has never stopped working since it arrived here in the studio. If you've watched a lot of my DIY videos where I talked about software, chances are it was running on that Zimmer Q Pro. Hell, when I did my Hex OS video just a week or so ago from recording this one, it was utilizing the Zimmer Q Pro. And I'm not alone in that. More and more you will see that Zimmer Q Pro in the background or in the foreground of a lot of DIY server and data storage platforms here on YouTube and other Otherwise, the Zimmer Q Pro, for its price tag and for how much they delivered upon that crowdfunding, has to be applauded there. And I wanted to include them in the list because, frankly, there isn't another solution in the market like them. But there you go. In network attached storage, those were my favourite things of 2024. Did I miss something for you? Is there something that you wish was on this list that wasn't or maybe something I missed? Let me know in the comments below and I'll try to add it perhaps into the comments or into the article that I'm going to be writing shortly after this goes out. But other than that, thank you so much for watching this year. Thank you so much if you have supported us in any way at NAS Compares. It's just me and Eddie. It's been really great. Um, again, next year, we're going to be talking even more about DIY NAS solutions. We're also going to be digging a lot deeper into the subject of unified storage and hyperscale and frankly how Synology intends to try to break into it for good or for bad and what's going to happen if there is an empty space in the market who's going to fill it and how we're also going to be delving more into the subject of AI and local AI and why perhaps it can be a good thing but of course we're only going to be talking local but thank you so much for watching again and thank you if you have watched anything that we've done this year have yourselves a fantastic Christmas